paper was like gold in medieval times. I want tobacco. Sugar. That everything we thought we knew about the world might turn out to be completely wrong. from the uh, Australian Navy. I hear you have some engine trouble. Uh, we've just come from the Pinoa Island. Need to get these verge to the counting station. The UN appreciates your help. Not a problem. It's what we're here for. Bonjour. Charge. Get on with it. Yeah. Here you go. Take that buff. <clears throat> Sweet music to me. Well, that's the sound of you snoring, big fella. I don't snore. I'm Shantai. Merci. The island of Pinoa. Thank you. The Australian Navy's happy to be of service, sir. Ma'am, take care. I think she liked me. That thing went up. I don't like our chances. What's that over there? Ten o'clock! Bravo 8-2, this is Charlie 8-2. Any luck in your surge buffer? Yeah, negative, sir. Still searching through the debris, but no sign of any survivors. Over. I've notified the local authorities. The UN are sending a boat out to the site. If you've done all you can, make your final sweeps and head back to the ship. Charlie, two out. Yeah, roger that. Half. 11 o'clock! Let's go! 
And in other news, voting is almost over in the Samaru Islands' first elections in 12 years. The Chino government claims recent democratic... Hey, we're getting you many back to the capital, Mr. Dijon. You're going to be fine. These are really just flashbacks. Whatever it was, wasn't engine related. There was only 100 horsepower in the motor. It was a bomb. No question, sir. Mr. Dujon, do you know who had access to your boat? No. We were all too busy overseeing the voting, dealing with the problems. Problems? Some Samoan men. They were going up and down the line of the voters. Not trying to uh, influence them? We, oui, but more than influencing. Intimidate. There were some Europeans directing them. The people of Pinoa are pro-government. They want nothing to do with this Masita Balamban. Thanks, Mr. Dijon. Are we on the same page here, Rex? If you're thinking that Ray Walsman is behind this, yes. Well, he's backing Balamban in the election. Mm. It's in his interest to see him win. It's fairly extreme, though, isn't it? If you can't win over an island, you blow up its ballot boxes. After he tried to have Buffer killed, I wouldn't put anything past him. Ray Walsman's yacht is currently being surveilled by air in San Maruan waters. You'll be happy to learn, Mike, that we've just been given permission by the caretaker PM there to arrest Mr. Walsman on site. That's good news, sir. It was your buffer statement on Walsman's attempt to kill him that sealed the deal. Well, given our involvement in this, we'd love the job of bagging that fish. Yeah, I figured as much. I'll get someone to shoot through the yacht's coordinates to your nav. You stay back, take him to the bush somewhere and kill him. Bury him, I don't want him found. Walsman's gonna have a team of fancy lawyers that are gonna get him off, you know? Mate. Facts are facts. He tried to have you killed, and there's no getting out of that. Now, just turn out the light. Jar Joe? Hmm. You've had a close shave with death. Do you ever stop thinking about it, mate? Jar Joe. Do I owe the pleasure of the company of the Navy on this fine day? Mr. Walsman, I have been authorised by the Australian and Samaruan governments under the Reciprocal Extradition Treaty to place you under arrest and escort you back to our ship. Really? On what charges? Conspiracy to murder, as well as numerous other charges under the Foreign Incursion and Recruitment Act. It's all there in the warrant, sir. What's going on? 
Nothing, sweetheart. Just some sort of a mistake. Oh, I can assure you, sir, it's no mistake. Look, you've got no evidence against... You look like you've just seen a ghost, Mr. Walsman. Put your hands behind your back now. What are you doing? Leave her alone! Dad? What's happening? Hey, Spider. E.T. Want you to stay on board and keep the vessel secure. Ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Where are you taking him? Dad! I'm innocent. No matter what they tell you, I'm innocent. OK? Carly. Carly. I want to go with my dad. It's not possible right now. You can't just come on board his boat and take him away like that. Carly, the Samaroon government have approved your father's warrant for arrest. Of course they have. He's back in the opposite side in the election. It's not just that, Carly. Your father is a big player in all of this. He's bringing in mercenaries. He's gun running. He's trying to fix the votes. That's rubbish. Who told you that? My buffer. He's been a witness through it all. Your father tried to kill him, Carly. Oh, that's a lie, Spider. Carly, I wouldn't lie to you. I wish this hadn't happened as well. I understand my executive officer has informed you of the charges and of your rights. You're sending me back to Australia. We'll be handing you over to the Samaruan police in preparation for your extradition. We're in Samaru on a fishing expedition. I don't think that breaks any laws. Uh, aren't you forgetting something, Walsman? We now have an eyewitness. If Balaban wins the election, there'll be no extradition. And you can live your life on the run? You really think you can trust that thug for protection? I consider the seat of Balamban to be a friend, partner. What's really in this for you? Is it just about your mining interests? In return for mining interests, I'm going to finance their roads, their hospitals, education system, bringing Samaru into the 21st century. Hell, I'm the greatest thing that ever happened to this place. You're stripping Samaru of its natural resources. You're exploiting its people for personal profit. Ah, uh, boss. OK, thanks. The United Nations declared the election null and void. Local police are looking for Ballenbarn to answer charges of vote rigging. Looks like that extradition will be going through after all. Captain X, the handover from Mr. Walsman is complete. Over. Captain, copy. It's over, Buffer. Why don't I feel like it's over? The political situation here is still unstable. How can we be certain he's going to be extradited? As long as you're around, the only time he'll spend in Australia will be behind bars. You can take comfort in that. Come on, sir. Face like a smashed crab. <laughs> Nothing. Carly Walsman. Yeah. Yeah. I, I was totally in with the chance until we arrested her old man. You may have dodged the bullet. Look, Spider, the way I see it is this. It's a choice of loyalty. I mean, where would you rather be with that beautiful Carly Walsman? Well, here with the crew, watching E.T. attempt to limbo like an idiot. Is that a trick question? <laughs> nah, I reckon I'd rather be here, Buff. Cheers, <laughs> You're looking like you're ready for home, sir. You aren't? I'd hate to think we were leaving with the job half done. That's not the way I see it. 
we got Ray Walsman. We've done our bit. I say we savour the success. Cheers. Listen up, bring it in, music. <laughs> now, I know it's been a long few months, but our time here in the Samaru Islands is almost at an end. I just want you to know how proud I am of all of you for the great work you've done under difficult circumstances. I don't know what the future holds for this country, but I do know that thanks in part to Hammersley, the next time we see Ray Walsman will be in court. Yeah. Yeah. All right, no more speeches. Let's enjoy ourselves. Limbo! Be merry. <laughs> and Limbo, the man is mad. Welcome aboard, Hammersley. Here, mate, give us your bag. Oh, I got it. <laughs> Thank you. No worries. Right. And this is the boat deck where you all came on board. We've got the two inflatable ribs, which we're all well acquainted with. Are there any questions? No? Come through this way, please. Up that ladder is the flag deck. Just right here, please. We're, uh, we're not putting you out of your beds, are we? No, mate. There's plenty of room for you down in Austere. I'm um, having trouble sleeping. I bunk with a snorer. <laughs> I sympathise with you. My wife, she sounds like a lawnmower. Well, I hope she doesn't look like one. Well, sir, <laughs> if you could please keep up with us. Well, I hope you have a good night's sleep. Yeah, you and me both, mate. Who's that? Uh, it's just me. <laughs> what are you doing up on deck, sir? You should be down in Austere. I know, but uh, it's stuffy in that place. I was hoping to, to bunk down here. Yeah, sorry, sir, no can do. Rules are rules, I'm afraid. I sympathise with you, though. My captain won't even let me sleep up on deck. Says it's too dangerous. Dangerous, sir? Rogue wave. Ah. I guess we're both stuck with our lots. Go on. 
Call of hands, call of hands, wakey, wakey, wakey. Sir, everyone's accounted for apart from one of the UN men. All right, everyone, listen up. Think carefully. Let's work out when this man was last seen. Based on that, we'll plot a search. Ma'am, um, he was in the galley last night washing up his dinner plate. It was sometime just before 21.30. Great, thanks, Bomber. Ma'am, I think I saw him going to the Austere at 2200. Sure, all right, thanks for that. Yeah, I saw him at about 10.30. He said he was going up on deck for a smoke. Right, and you're positive about that time? Yeah. I don't remember him coming back, though. Excuse me. Yes, sir. I saw the man this morning. You saw him this morning? Just after breakfast. Are you sure about that? Or what time? It was about 7.30. He said he was going upstairs to get some sea air. OK. OK, this guy's been in the water for two hours. That gives us a nice tight window to work in. Let's find him. The situation in the Samaru Islands is deteriorating by the minute. A military-led coup is currently underway. Masita Balanban and a group of armed men, many of them Samaroan nationals, have surrounded the presidential palace here in the capital and are currently laying siege Sir, to Sir, this it. is just in from NAVCOM. Government forces are engaged in a fierce gun battle that has already seen a number of casualties. What's it, bad news? Wilson's escaped custody. What? Well, how does that happen? He was broken out by a group of mercenaries. They've killed two policemen in the process. And no doubt, Wilson was behind this coup. Well, what are the UN doing? They're adopting a sit-back-and-see policy. If Alan Barnes seizes power, we won't be able to extradite. Yeah, the coup, it could fail. Oh, yeah, and Wilson will just head for some country that doesn't have an extradition treaty with Australia. Either way, he's gone. Sir, HMAS Launceston's just pulled a body out of the water 62 miles southeast of us. The United Nations ID tag confirms that it's our man overboard. 62 miles? Someone's got the parallel ruler back to front. And Commander Marshall wants to talk to you on the sat phone in the comms center. No. Oh, yeah, call the search off, X. But the prosperity and stability the Samaruan people have struggled for for so long could well be shattered for many years to come. Walsman's mercenaries are coordinating this attack on the presidential palace. I've got incoming reports of mounting casualties. I understand it's chaos. We've just received notification from HMAS Launceston concerning your... Missing UN observer. Yeah, my uh, RO passed on that message. I'll be putting together a sit-rep once I've conducted... Just shelved the sit-rep for the time being, Mike. The boys on Launceston are treating this... ...as a suspicious death. Suspicious? I don't understand. Didn't mean to surprise you. No, there's no surprises on this tub, mate. Doing your laundry. Yeah, mate, it's busy doing my cabin. Well, don't let me stop you. Well, you must be bored. Stand around watching a sailor do his washing. Yes. Yes, I'm very bored. I'm just looking for ways to kill the time. Hey, boys. Hey. The alarm was raised 90 minutes after his last sighting. In that time, we only travelled 23 miles. How can a body be 62 clicks away? Sir, we think that the last sighting of the man overboard was a furphy. Absolutely it was. NAVCOM said the body was wrapped in a hammock. He was murdered before he hit the water. Murdered? Whoever gave Buffer that last sighting was obviously the killer. This time was not spinning. I reckon there's something stuck in here, something jammy. Do you hear that, Captain speaking? Buffer bridge, buffer bridge. Hey, T, you seen Buffer? Yeah, yeah, he's uh, doing his laundry. Go get him.
the fridge, but... Uh, you want one? Yeah, yeah, good. Who's paying you, Mr. Zara, if that's your real name? We know you don't work for the UN. You joined the other observers on Flumi Island just prior to boarding. You were sent here to kill the only witness that can put Walsman away. You failed. Tell me where we can find Ray Walsman. Tell me where we can find Ray Walsman! Pete. You won't talk to us. We're transferring you to HMAS Launceston, where you'll be questioned by an Interpol representative. Maybe you'll be more cooperative with them. We found his duffel bag hidden down in Austere. It would seem his plan was to do buffer in and then take a leap over the side. And swim where? Well, not necessarily anywhere. It's a military style leap, Herb. Once you set it off, it transmits on a discrete frequency so that only the people tuning in can hone in on it and locate him. Question is, who's tuning in? I've had a radar contact on the same course as us for the last six hours just below the horizon. I thought it was another boatload of evacuees and, until now. The rendezvous boat? What are you thinking? Radar contact is closing on the island. Why not? Charlie A2, this is Sierra A2. I have a visual on the contact, over. Sir, it's Ray Walsman's yacht, over. Copy that, Swain. OK, Nav, keep us behind the headland. We don't want to scare him off. Slow ahead, both engines. X-ray A2, this is Charlie A2. Go ahead, Charlie A2. We have Walsman's boat heading for the beacon. Await my signal to insert, over. Boarding party standing by, over. Charlie A2, they deployed a Zodiac heading for our position, over. Captain, copy. All right, Nav. It's time to show our hand. Take us around the headland. Half ahead, both engines. Revolutions one zero zero zero. Uh, weapons ready. My count. Three, two, one. Go. Drop your weapon! Drop your weapon! Get down! 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 Get
get as close to the contact as you can before you make your move and keep both ribs hidden behind you. Over. No, oh, Roger that. XI visual at Red 5. She's an ocean trawler by the looks of her. 2,500 yards. You better not be lying. That's his new command post. Uh, sir, we have a visual contact. Stationary, bearing 035. She appears to be at anchor, over. X will hug the coastline, use it as cover. You're our decoy. Over. Copy that, Charlie A2. Starboard 10, steer 035. Starboard 10, steer 035. Bravo and Echo teams, I want you to remain off our starboard quarter. You stay as close to our side as you can and we'll do our best to conceal you from the contact. Yeah, roger that, X. Enterprise, this is Barometer. You were supposed to remain on the east side of the island. Why are you approaching, over? Ms. Walsman. Uh, Bravo and Echo teams, maintain close quarters. The contact has seen us, over. Yeah, roger that, X. Enterprise, respond. Why the hell are you approaching? Okay. Now, you remember what to say? Parameter, this is the Enterprise. We've been having some engine troubles, Mr. Walsman. We need to come alongside. OK, Bill, come alongside. Make it quick. OK, Charlie 8-2, this is X-Ray H-2. Walsman has given us permission to come alongside. Over. That's good to hear, X. Take up position in the ribs. Wait for my signal. OK, let's gear up. Stopping both engines. OK, both engines stopped. Buffer. Yes, it is, ma'am. What's their distance from the contact nav? 500 yards in closing, sir. This is Charlie 8-2. Insert. Insert, insert. Copy that. Commencing insertion. Let's go! All right, nav. Enough of the hide-and-seek. Bring us up to full steam. Half ahead, both engines. Revolutions 2000. I got it, nav. Half ahead, both engines. Revolutions 2000. Team, take cover. I say again, take cover now. Copy that, sir. Okay, take cover! This is a strange 
Australian warship. Cease fire and throw down your weapon or I will fire upon you. Are my people safe now? Nav, are my people safe? Safe and covered, sir. For the last time, this is Australian warship. Cease fire and throw down your weapon or I will fire upon you. Will you join your Train the Typhoon at the cargo on the stern of that vessel there. Typhoon, aim and target, sir. Command approved. Engage. Firing. Oh, your hands behind your head. Gun safe reloaded, sir. He's got to be below decks. Okay, where's Buffer? Last I saw, he's heading to the wheelhouse. Something to Jimmy with. Here we go, man. Trying to gain access into the engine room. Still no sign of buffer. Please, please, no. no. Why should I show you any mercy, Walsman? Did you show me any when you made me dig my own grave? Please, please. How does it feel, Walsman? How's it feel to know you're about to die? Oh, hey? Come, come. We're in. Go.
car, mate. We'll get you down below and get you checked out. Uh, it's like a mongrel. Guess you cracked your sternum. Ah, uh, uh, <laughs> don't remember. Nav, can you have him up there? Oh, you right? Oh, I'm sorry. Good work, Papa. Thank you, sir. Why don't you grab a shower? That's all you can do with one. Oh, sir. You did well, too, X. I'm ready to go home. Oh, ETA home base, 1800 tomorrow. Provided there's no unexpected developments. I reckon we can always count on those. Australian Federal Police are sending a boat over. They'll take custody of you, your yacht, and your men. Oh, and Ray, the coup's been put down. Bellenbarn surrendered. It's over. The Navy prides itself on honor, loyalty, honesty, courage, and integrity. They are values that each and every one of you have exemplified under extraordinary circumstances. Therefore, it is with great pleasure that I present to the crew of HMS Hammersley a Chief of Defence Force Unit Commendation. Your achievements are of the highest order and in keeping with the finest tradition of the Royal Australian Navy and the Australian Defence Force. HMS Hammersley!